In the previous video, we looked at changing the SVG files for the app icon, the app icon fig, and the splash SVG file to modify our app icon and our splash files. Now, you may be like me that I'm not as comfortable in Adobe Illustrator as I am in Adobe Photoshop, or maybe you don't have Illustrator, but you do have Photoshop or some other graphic program for working with bitmaps. You can create those files as PNGs. SVGs are recommended because of the way they scale, but if you make your PNG large, it will scale down. You just want to try to avoid scaling up. So in Photoshop, I've created a file called app icon underscore island. It's 1200 by 1200, so I use the 1200 in the name just so I know, you know basically what it is. And then I also put the RGB values. Again, so it's just in the file name. And it's just the one layer that's orange. And then I have the app icon fig underscore island underscore 1200 PNG. It's got a transparency for the sky. Everything else is opaque. Uh, very similar to what we created in Adobe Illustrator. And then basically have the same file for the splash. Saved all three of those out. We're going to bring those into our Visual Studio project and see how those will work for our icon and our splash. Let me jump over to Visual Studio. So I'm going to start by going to the resources. Let's go to the app icon. And I'm going to take the app icon here and I'm going to set its build action to none for now. We may get rid of those files. The app icon fig already has a build action of none. And I'm going to do the same thing for the splash. I'm going to set its build action to none. Then for the app icon, I'm going to add existing files. I'm going to bring in my two PNG files that I've created. Copy those. And I want to take the app icon file and set its build action to Maui icon. And then the app icon fig file, I'll set the build action there to none. I'm going to bring in my splash file. And this one is splash underscore island. And I'm going to set its build action to Maui splash screen. Now let's go look at our CS project file. So under the app icon comment here in the file, I'm going to create a Maui icon XML reference. And we're going to say include equals. I'm going to take resources backslash app icon backslash in the name of my file, I could rename it to shorten it. I'm going to leave it as app icon underscore island underscore 1200 underscore FF7700, and that's a PNG file. So we'll do a .png. I'm going to set the foreground file. equal to, and I'm just going to copy that reference and paste it. And all I'm going to do is change app icon underscore island, app icon underscore, app icon fig, fg underscore island. I'm going to set the color equal to hashtag ff 7700. Now because this is a PNG file, we also have to tell it the base size. And the base size is 1200 comma 1200. 
close that tag. And I'm going to copy that. Let's do our Maui splash screen. And our file here is resources backslash splash splash underscore island underscore 1200 that's a PNG file you can get rid of the foreground and I'll see the color and the base size so again since this is a PNG I have to tell it the base size so it knows how to scale and I'm going to close and save that file if I misspelled splash Maui splash screen so I'll save because I added some files it reloads the project I'm going to clean all I'm going to run this first on the iPhone. So I got an error here that more than one splash screen is defined. So apparently it's remnants of the old splash screen. So let's just get rid of that. I'm going to delete it. We'll do the same thing on the app icons. I'm going to delete those. And then again, I'm going to clean all. I'll go ahead and rebuild. And unfortunately, this particular error message is just the, the resizetizer codes reporting an error. But I don't know where exactly where that error is. But if we look through the contents here, we might be able to find where the problem was. So it didn't like the foreground file, saying it couldn't find it. Let's go back into the CS project file. So a little error on the error message. I've got the color code at the end of that file. Going to fix that. Let's try cleaning all again and rebuild. It was reloading the files while the build failed. Let's try rebuilding again. Let's try running this on the iPhone. We'll see if it builds for the iPhone. Okay. So there's one thing we have to do on the Mac. We, since we changed the name of the file, I've got app icon. So I need to do two more things for the platforms. Since I've changed the name of the files being used for the app icon, I need to go into iOS, go to the info P list, and I need to change this app icon to the names of my files. So app icon underscore island underscore 1200 underscore FF7700. Now we'll see, I'm thinking I probably need to have the same name for the icon fig that's ending in that FF7700. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this 1200 and I'm going to change the name of my file here to get rid of that FF7700. And that means I also need to change it back in the CS project file. So that everything is the same and consistent. Let's try that. And while I'm here, I'm going back to the Android. I'm going to go to the Android manifest. And let's change that app icon to underscore island underscore 1200. I'll save that file. I'm going to save my info P list. Save the CS project file. Once again, after it reloads, I'm going to clean 
And let's try running this on the iPhone 14. And I could have simply renamed those two app icon files to just app icon, app icon fig. Um, we wouldn't have to go in and then and change the information in the plist and in the Android manifest. Okay, so the project loaded, seems to work. I'm going to end. Let's take a look. There's our icon, app icon PNG. And if I run this, the splash screen doesn't work here in iOS, as we saw previously. I'm going to end that application. Let's go back and try this on the Samsung S20. Now I got an error in terms of my targets. I'm going to go back to my Android manifest and let's make sure we set the targets here. So I'm going to do 12.0 and 13.0. And let's try this again. And that's a common problem I see on the Visual Studio for Mac with the Android emulators. Uh, it doesn't automatically set the target versions and the minimum version. So you have to go in and set those. I have on occasion see it run though without doing that. So now deploying the app to my emulator. I see the icon has come up here as app icon SVG. There's my splash screen, works good on the Android side. Project works. Again, I'm going to close. And there you see the icon. So that's how you can use PNG files for the icon. Remember, you have to set the base size. I'd make them large. So 1200 by 1200, I think, is a great size to develop an, an icon in for .NET MAUI. And then, of course, make sure you're changing your Android manifest and your info P list accordingly. If you just jumped into this video, you can see all the videos from the .NET MAUI practicum playlist by clicking on the image in the lower right. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos I create, you can click my picture in the top right to subscribe to the channel.